Okay, boys and girls, one of the things I want to talk to you about today is figurative language. Now, figurative language creates a special effect or feeling or makes a point. Now, um, the other night, you had homework and you had to read a selection and it had a lot of different uses of figurative language in it. What were some of those uses of figurative language in the selection you read? Teddy. Raining cats and dogs. Raining cats and dogs. That's one of my favorite expressions. And what does it mean if it is raining cats and dogs? What does that mean? It's raining hard. It's raining hard. What was another use of figurative language in that story? Yes, in that selection. It felt like we were waiting for one year. For We were waiting for one year. What does that mean if it's like, what did they really mean? It means that, um... It took a long time. It took a long time. What was another one? What was another use of figurative language? Another example, yes, in Kisha. My hair was like a bird's nest. My hair was like a bird's nest. What did they mean by that, Anastasia? Um, my hair was a mess. My hair was a mess. Oh, that's what my hair looks like in the morning. Mm -hmm. If you have short hair, your hair looks like a bird's nest in the morning. Yes, Ivy? Yes, what does that mean? I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack. It means you're really excited. Really excited, really nervous. Yes, very good. So let's look here. The particular, I want to talk about a particular type of figurative language, and it's one of our very favorite types, and it is onomatopoeia. And we've talked about onomatopoeia before. And that is when a word, it's a word that imitates the sound of what it describes. And here's a few examples of it. The word pop, because the word pop sounds like a pop. Boom, boom sounds like a boom. Crack, that sounds like a crack. That really fits with our baseball story because when a ball comes off a bat, it makes that crack sound, doesn't it boys and girls? Ring, when a phone rings, or at least like an old-fashioned phone, a regular phone, and makes that ring sound. Were there any examples of onomatopoeia in our story? Do you remember? Yes? Slap, slap, slap. Slap, slap, slap. And what went slap, slap, slap? The door. The door went slap, slap, slap. Very, very good. Do you remember? Were there other examples? Teddy? Crack. What was it? Crack. Crack. What went crack? Um, the ball went in. The ball when it hits the bat. Juliana? I think those were the, the only examples of onomatopoeia in our story. But there were some other examples of figurative language in our story. Can you think of some other examples of onomatopoeia that are not right here? That are boom, pop, crack, and ring. What can you think of? Olive. Smash. What is it? Smash. Smash? Yes, what can you think of? Zoom. Zoom. Oh, yes, I love Zoom. That's one of my favorites. As a matter of fact, Ralph and the Motorcycle, that one was in there. Yes? Bam. Bam. Yes? Smack. Smack. Jensen. Um, skid, like when, when the bike skids. Or oh, yeah, it makes skid. That does make a sound. Yes. And Anastasia. Um, scrap. Very good. So those are all very good examples. So here's what we're going to do. I have a paper, and our paper has got some um, some sentences on it, and you're going to match up the sentence with a word that will go with that sentence, an onomatopoeia word. So let's see how well we do.